We're speaking with Denise Lechar, the co-author of the Seoul Fashion Report. Uh, tell me about Korean fashion in terms of how important it is to Koreans versus, say, the Japanese or even New York or France, given that in North America, I don't think we have a sense yet of Korea as a fashion powerhouse. All right. Um, compared to New York and Japan, I think they're still sort of catching up. But I guess if you live in Seoul, if you live in Korea, you realize that people are concerned about fashion. It's part of their daily life. I mean, people dress perfectly every day, like from head to toe. They look amazing most of the time. Even on a Sunday afternoon, they'll be out with their boyfriend and they're just look like they're going to some, you know, ball or some, you know, really big event. Um, but that's just a regular day for them. So, yeah, fashion is very important, as it is in New York and, and Tokyo. Um, but uh, it's yet to be seen on the international stage how, how much of a powerhouse they'll be, I guess. And um, is there some pressure on you to make sure you look really good when you go out on a Sunday afternoon, yeah, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, um, a lot more than there used to be when I was living in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I always feel underdressed most of the time. <laughs> Um, but it's it's nice. I you know I actually really uh, as a as a designer I really appreciate the aesthetic and to go outside and see lots of people dressed up and to see the creativity that goes behind it to see the thought that goes behind it it's really nice it's a nice backdrop to the city or to you know to see that every day. Why did you move to Korea? Uh, like most people initially to teach English, but I I was a graphic designer back in Toronto and over the year that I was there I made some connections and I got to work as a designer there so I stayed longer and I got to do the stuff that I enjoy doing. Including photography, so. I don't think I personally have considered Korea as, for instance, a travel destination. No one does. <laughs> so, of course, really? you know, of course, South Korea and North Korea is yeah. very much a political place to know right now in the yeah, media. It is. Uh, what, why would someone want to go to South Korea? Uh, wow, well, I don't know. I just I fell in love with it right away. I, that's why I've been there for so long. But it's just a, I mean. There's always something going on. It has such an energy. It really does. You know, people say New York is a city that never sleeps, but Korea is also that. It's uh, no one's ever sleeping. There's always somebody out Monday through Sunday. Um, you can be shopping at 4 a.m. in you know in a market uh, for you know latest fashion. <laughs> um, you know, you can have great food um, on the street and, and socialize. And there's always time for that. So people always make time for socializing in that country, that city. So it's a fun place to be. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs>